And it is too much, you guys, because frankly, I don't care. It's about spending time with the people that matter to you, and I'm doing all of that, okay? Welcome back to Making It with the Matthews. If you're new here, I'm Melissa, and on this channel, we give you a little bit of lifestyle content, a little bit of travel, but a whole lot of fun. And so today's video is a little bit different. I am not vlogging. Obviously, I'm sitting down with a camera in front of me, with the mic in front of me, and I am going to be talking about the reason why I deleted Instagram. First, let me say this. A lot of you have reached out to me, whether you text, whether you called, whether you sent a message on some channel. I appreciate it. Um, I've been gone for about four weeks, but it has been a really good four weeks, a really productive four weeks. And so I'm here to kind of give you guys an update as to why I deleted Instagram. Social media can be a great place to network and to build community, to market your business, to set up shop as an influencer. And I've used social media for all of it actually. But over the past year, I found myself having more anxiety in dealing with overconsumption of people's lives, um, overconsumption of all of the ads that are being pushed to us telling us what we need in our lives essentially and I grew tired of it. It's one of those things where you have to take account for your own self and realize what it is that you're spending your time doing as well as how it's making you feel. So I wasn't feeling good, I wasn't feeling happy being on social media and I did it because I thought that hey I'm trying to build this vlog business right so making it with the Matthews it's our business I've tried for years to build a presence on Instagram and to do that you have to show up right so showing up meant that posting and interacting with other people's posts and building community and making friends and so a lot of that um, I did but the byproduct of it is that you are consuming a lot of other people's contents and I felt like it was a rat race of who could post their content the fastest, who could push the most trendiest stuff the fastest and it is too much you guys and I know that a lot of people say that social media is a highlight reel and so you should go into using the app knowing that you know, people aren't posting necessarily their everyday life. I post, so sometimes, obviously, I'm not posting my everyday life. You're only seeing a snapshot. But when you see a bunch of different things, or sometimes the same things over and over and over again, it plays in your psyche in a way that is not um, healthy. And so I decided that it was time to completely delete the app the doom scroll is over for me. I'm not saying I can't do it in the future. I very well may, but in this moment, I cannot. So right now, I'm going to share um, just the top five reasons. I kind of gave you the backstory as to what I was going through, what I was feeling, and why I decided to delete the app. But I'm just going to give you guys some straight facts <laughs> as to why fully I deleted the app. So the number one reason why I deleted Instagram was to regain control of my time. You guys, so the phone doesn't lie, okay? If you have an iPhone, it tells you your screen time. And I pretty much would have about eight hours a day of screen time on Instagram. It's ridiculous. So um, I'm going to look up my screen time right now in real time and tell you guys what has gone up tremendously is the creativity tab, which is 17 hours that I've spent in the past week on creativity. 
on social in the past week, I've spent 10 hours. Now, social means YouTube. So YouTube is my business and because I'm no longer on Instagram, I've spent a lot of my time editing content, posting content um, very consistently actually on YouTube. So yes, yeah, social says 10 hours, but that's for the entire week and creativity is 17 hours for the entire week. So that's one of the benefits of getting rid of Instagram. I was able to boost my creativity by doing more, by creating more videos, and also I've done a lot of reading. So in that time, especially in the mornings, I would take my dog on walks now because I'm not laying in the bed scrolling on Instagram, and I have listened to The Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes, which is a really good book. I'll put a picture of it here you need to read that it's my first read for the year i'm now on my second book it's now february 3rd and the book is atomic habits and so far it's good because it's exactly what i've done this year i'm focused on getting one percent better every single day in order to get to my dreams and my goals so the other reason why I deleted Instagram, it is focusing on my real world connections. When you doom scroll and spend 8 to 10 hours a day on your phone, on social media, you are neglecting the people that are around you. So I am using that time to, again, I mentioned walking my dog, um, spending more time with my daughter, spending more time with my husband, or trying to be present. And um, he mentioned the other day because he noticed that the time that I would use on social media, I've used it to become a little bit more productive, but overproductive. And so he mentioned, hey, you should probably try to come up with certain hours of the week or day that you edit. And so that way you're not editing and doing YouTube 24 seven around the clock. Mm -hmm. He mentioned that I realized, hey, you could be going hard the opposite direction too. So it's all about focusing on spending time with the people that matter, uh, including like your friends that, you know, sometimes you keep in touch on social media because you guys are already there, but now you can keep in touch over the phone. Bye guys. Oh. All right, y'all, hubby came in and fixed my mic because he obviously thinks that I'm not doing it right, so pardon the little break all right so yeah it's about spending time with the people that matter to you and i'm doing all of that okay all of that plus more now and number three so i spent a lot of last year procrastinating and i'm not blaming that on social media but i am blaming it on my motivation or lack thereof a lot of that was because I wanted to focus on the internet world. Frankly, that's really what it was. I wanted to focus on social media and sometimes social media does make you feel good, right? Like there are some things that inspires you. Um, there are some things that, you know, make you laugh because of the memes. So there are very good things with social media. It just can get very bad quickly if you don't have the right boundaries in place. So number four is a little tricky because I like to think of myself as a confident person and not needing validation from people. And when you're on social media and you're posting your life and you're hoping to grow your channel, you post a lot of things because you want to get likes. And the likes somewhat equates to you doing something well. The point is post a video, post a picture, and people will like it or they will not. And sometimes when they don't like your photo, it tends to make you second guess how good you are. Um, it makes you think that, you know, there are other people that are better than you. And sometimes that's not the case. Sometimes it is. Maybe their photos are better than you. It's okay if that photo is a little bit better than yours, but the algorithm sometimes pushes others and it doesn't push others. And so I just don't want to deal with that. I can't. I can't deal with the fact that I have to put something out there in the world and feel like I need justification from other people 
with whether they're giving me 20 likes or 100 likes because frankly I don't care but when you want to be um, a content creator the businesses care they care about your engagement they care about your likes they care about your followers and so in turn you tend to care about that because it's a part of the business so if I do download the app again trust and believe that it's not going to be from a content creator perspective. It's more so, hey, this is our Instagram page, we'll share stuff. So yeah, that's that for Instagram. But I do care for YouTube, so if you're watching this video, please give me a thumbs up. <laughs> so the second reason I kind of alluded to it earlier was for mental health. I wanna make sure that you guys fully understand that consuming too much social media can cause a reduction in your mental health. You're not able to focus on the things that actually bring you joy, but instead you're focused on other people's lives, which actually gives you FOMO, which is fear of missing out. So when you're focused on the highlight reels of other people's lives, you're seeing them traveling the world and maybe you're seeing that person traveling it's their first trip out of the year right or maybe their only trip out of the year but when you're looking at everyone's highlight reel it doesn't help you to feel good or to focus about your life that you're living because you're comparing highlight reel to your regular life right and so everyone knows that social media is a highlight reel or we should know that right but it still doesn't help or it still doesn't stop you from having that feeling. And so learning to separate from that actually helps you to be a little bit happier. It helps you to focus on act activities that's going to make you feel good inside. My daughter is here. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> Hello. So Hello. see, she's here with me as I'm filming this video and um, she's taking her hair out. Do you want to talk about why social media is not really a good thing to consume all the time? Probably because there can be negative feedback and like things that aren't positive that can make you feel like less than or like not as great as you are. Sometimes that can just be like bad for your mental health. Yeah, I think so. See, she wasn't he in here when I exactly said mental health, but the kid knows. She knows. She's a smart girl. Smart cookie. Yes, you are. You like my hair, Molly? Really? I love it, baby. It it's looks so beautiful. nice, right? I can't it wait to so blow long. it out. All right, I'm going to do yes. it for you. Adios, baby girl. Have fun. Thanks. So those are just some of the main reasons, guys. I can go into other things as to why um, I've deleted the app and why I'm off of the app, but those are really the main reason. It's dealing with mental health, um, making sure that I'm keeping myself, keeping my sanity. Um, it's spending time with my family. It's also um, increasing my productivity and making sure that I achieve all of the goals that I wanna achieve this year. I don't have time to be wasting this year. 2024 is not a year to be wasting time, um, at least for me, right? And I'm not knocking anyone who's using social media um, let me not say social media. Um, I'm not knocking anyone that's using Instagram at this particular time. Now, there are a lot of other social media apps out there. Again, I'm currently on YouTube. But for me, YouTube is based solely on productivity and being able to give helpful and useful content to people. So if you haven't yet noticed, a lot of our content this year is about bringing quality um, feedback about a topic, whatever the topic is, to our audience that is travel and lifestyle related. And we wanna continue to do that. And so um, in order for us to continue to do that, I have to make sure that I'm well mentally and that I'm not um, dealing with a lot of anxiety and feelings about being on Instagram at least not for now. I'm sure that I'll be back at some point because I do love Instagram. I loved it so much I spent eight to 10 hours on it per day. So it's not that I hate the app, it's I love it too much, okay? I love it too much and it came with some negative side effects that I definitely needed to rid myself of. So I hope that you guys are doing an audit on your time the time that you're spending on Instagram and whether or not it is productive time. 
and whether or not um, you can use that to fuel your goals for 2024. I also want to caution you to think about the content that you are putting out there as well. Is it positive? Is it edifying? Is it helping people? All right, guys, I truly hope that you enjoyed this video and this face-to-face -face talk about why I deleted Instagram. Um, I also hope that you too find some joy and some healing off of Instagram this season, whether it's this quarter or sometime this year. Spend some time away with your family and be able to reconnect with the people outside of the online streets. Um, I also hope that you will stick around if you like this video, that you'll give it a thumbs up, that you'll also subscribe because I hope to see you back again. And um, that is it for this video. We will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for being here.